I'm Rob Cardwell. Here's some of the day's top stories. Breaking news out of Richmond where a man has suffered life threatening injuries after being shot. Uh, police confirmed overnight they were called here to the 5500 block Midlothian Turnpike at 11 last night and found the man who was eventually taken to the hospital. Investigators believe that the shooting happened on the 300 block of Melmark Court, less than half a mile from where the man was found. Of course, we will keep you updated on air and online as more information comes our way. As we continue to report about ongoing issues with mail delays and theft, state police responded to this mail truck that lost mail on the highway yesterday. It happened on I-64 West between Masonic Lane and Nine Mile Road about 8.50 Tuesday morning. State police responded to assist with traffic control and USPS officials retrieved the mail from the right shoulder in the median. We've reached out to USPS for more information and we're waiting to hear back. And now here's Tom. All right, thanks a lot, Rob. A cool start today, and it's going to be a cool finish. About 52 for a high, partly cloudy. Not bad, not as windy as what we had yesterday. Could still be a little bit breezy at times, but overall, decent day. Cold tonight, again, dropping to the 30-degree range, which means uh, a lot of you folks uh, will make it into those 20s tonight. I'm really just going to jump ahead to our next chance for precipitation because we're dry for the next few days. But it's going to be Friday night into early Saturday morning, and it's a system that could bring a a brief mix of wintry weather. You can see maybe a little bit of light rain mix and some wet snow north of town. There could be some very light accumulations from this. And you can see by Saturday 6 a.m. By around sunrise, that thing should be gone. So it's going to leave some colder air to for us this weekend. 52 today, 56 tomorrow, and 54 Friday with increasing clouds. There you go, that system for Saturday. Cool temperatures for the weekend. Some cold nights, mid-20s and upper 20s. And then a little bit of a warm-up into next week, back to the mid-50s. From CBS 6, the Weather Authority have a terrific Valentine's Day.